What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. In the last episode, we pretty much finished off this level. We finished off this level in like two episodes, man. Um, we found this cannon, and we're like, yeah, let's shoot ourselves out. So, let's shoot ourselves out. <laughs> Come to think of it, it's very reminiscent of, um... Mario 64, isn't it? Shooting yourself out of the cannon. Oh god, the memories. No, thank you. Alrighty, here we go. Got so many doobloobloons. And hopefully not. Yeah, I guess you need your fishing supplies here, don't you? If you all came here and you don't care about jellyfish, well, you're just poopy out of luck. Oh god. Okay, I was gonna say, I couldn't see a dang thing. I hope this game wasn't screw me over. But then it didn't. The end. Where do I go from here? What? Huh? Hello? Oh, duh. Alright, listen very carefully here, you guys. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Wait, really? I thought the audience was supposed to cheer for you. I was so excited for the audience to cheer, and they didn't even cheer for me. What the heck is this? I was so excited, you guys. Ruin my fantasies, I'll have you know. It's all your fault. Wow, I can't believe you would disgust me. So, uh, so, uh, so I, I don't know. Eh, whatever, doesn't matter. 300 doubloons. Is that the maxed out yet? No, 95%. What? A, why wouldn't they max it all at 300? This game's so weird. Okay. don't like how I can't see anything when I'm falling. I really don't like that at all, actually. It makes me feel very sad about my life. I also really don't like how this camera is right now. Ow! Freaking clownfish. What a butthole, yo. Now I gotta kill the other one. Kill your friend. I can't leave you all lonely up here. Let me end your misery. Let me put a good meaning to your life. It's death. <laughs> Yay, I caught him. Is there gonna be 40 jellyfish in here? Probably not. It's just random numbers of stuff, and it really makes me sad. I really don't understand why I didn't just put, like, decent numbers in here. Kind of round stuff up to, like, you know, hundreds or fifties for jellyfish. Ah, here we go. Listen to this. What? What was that? Can't even get back up there, can I? Oh, I can't go this way, though. Phew. I was going to say, this jellyfish better not screw me over by stinging me to the deaths. Alright, what do we have? 97%. Oh, we have 100% of doubloons. That's good. Okay, so that probably means there's only one more jellyfish in here, which I believe I saw over there. Okay, good. So, don't have to worry about this area. But I'm pretty dang sure we're going to have to... Oh, you know what? I'm... Ooh, unless I fall here. I guess we can just jump down here, can't we? I mean, yeah, yeah, there's just a staircase up here. That's good. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, I just punched my mic. My apple, my geez. Scratching my nose. I'm very itchy all of a sudden. I don't know why. Because I'm nervous. I can't talk in front of the microphone. I don't have any experience with this. Oh boy. Oh, I turn to Mickey Mouse when I do this sometimes. Uh huh? <laughs> oh god, I don't know. Alright, let's try this again. This time I'll randomly fall off for no freaking reason. Sorry. Yay, the audience loves me. All two frames of them. Actually, that audience is not nearly as big as I thought it was. What about this side? Uh, I guess I'll get a better view from up here. Ooh, boy. Watch the shadow. Watch the shadow. Hey, watch the face. See, it looks like I'm, like, right at the edge, but... Yeah, there you go. That seems to be a bigger portion of the audience. Oh, great. Another cannon. I can't wait. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on a second. <gasps> There's a green jellyfish right there. 100%! A hundo! Woo woo woo! Burr, 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 burr. All right. Okay, I, I missed the shot last time I tried this. There's a target up there. Aim for the target! So there's no way to really hit it. There we go, everybody. We have now 100%ed. Wait, we're missing a letter. What the heck? Wee! Holy crap, that was kind of fun. Oh, yeah, and then make a noise when you fail something. I forgot about that. Oh, wait, no, that's the back entrance. I don't want to go that way. Hopefully, we can use a cannon to shoot across the stadium here. 
Cause yeah, well, I guess we'd be done with this all two minutes to the episode, but no, we're done five minutes to the level. Whatever, close enough. There we go. Would have been cro faster just to run across here, probably. But would have been a f would it have been as fun? Probably not. All right. Well, so yeah, we have completed everything in here besides catch plankton if you can. And the only way to activate that is by getting the last Dutch Flying Dutchman's treasure and Goolagoon first, which is so dumb. It's so dumb. Soda dumb. I love soda, don't you? It's pretty delicious. Once again, I don't know. Like, people always be like, do you call it soda or pop? It, it, people just call them drinks here. They're like, do you want a drink? Like, oh, what kind? Like, oh, we have Pepsi and Coke and 7-Up, blah, 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 blah. Well, yeah, no one, no one, I mean, nobody really calls it soda or pop here. I mean, soda does sound kind of more natural. No, you don't, neither of them sound natural at all. Both of them just sound like things that no one calls them here. <laughs> They're figments of imagination. <laughs> loading, loading, loading. I'm loading, loading. Okay, so with that, we've pretty much, yeah, we've 100 percented Pretty much every area but Goo Lagoon, except there's one thing I should have done actually between Jellyfish Fields and going to, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Jellyfish Fields and Chum World. Uh, if we actually go back to downtown Bikini Bottom, oh yeah, the bus stop's over here, isn't it? No, it's Chum World there. If you go to downtown with a reef blower, something a little bit special happens. Something that can't happen until you get a reef floor, which is very strange. I don't understand why this character wasn't here before. But uh, there should be someone new in downtown Bikini Bottom. Uh, let's take a look at our to-do list. So the only thing we didn't complete... Oh wait, no. Downtown. There we go. The only thing we didn't complete was help Sandy clean up the trash. Which is so weird and so like... You know, how the heck are you supposed to know? How are you supposed to know that? Okay, I was curious if we could hurt these guys or not. Cannot. Cannot. Yeah, it's Sh Sandy should be around here somewhere. I'm, I don't remember where she is exactly, so I'll just, just take a little walk. She's gotta be around here somewhere. I know she's on a main street. I know she's nowhere shady, like in a back alley or something, because that would be weird. Oh god, I almost fell down. Is that her there? I think it's her. Yeah, there we go. I'm just standing beside a dumpster. Hey there, SpongeBob. Wanna lend a hand? Sure thing, Sandy. What can I do? I joined up with Operation Clean Sweep. We're clearing up all the trash that floats down to Bikini Bottom. You can help me by rolling all the trash balls you see into the sewer, where they belong. There are six trash balls in all. And you can roll them with your reef blower. Aye, aye, Sandy, you can count on me. <laughs> I'm gonna roll you around, Sandy. <laughs> giggity, giggity, you. <laughs> all right. I thought I got timed on this. Did she, say, did she say anything else if I talk to her again? Did you find all six of the trash balls and roll them into the sewers? Oh, I was smart enough to reply that I just she just ignores her. So yeah, all of a sudden now there's these trash balls that are just slowed down right now. Geez, Sandy, if you, no one said anything, nothing would ever happen. Yeah, all these weird apple cores start, start popping. Why did I look down? Are they there? Nope. Okay, so these vents are like pushing up all this garbage. Probably got a better venting system if that happens. Oh man, this place just has bad memories. Missing freaking things all the time. Alright, so the trash balls are pretty easy to find, to be honest. And same with the, uh, sewage holes. Okay, I didn't see any the way I came, so let's go this way. I'm pretty sure there's actually more than six, to be honest. But you just need to get six. After you get six, then the rest of them just disappear. There we go. Yeah, best way to find the sewer, just look for the green mist coming up. So many apple cores. Why does everyone need so many apples? By the way, apples aren't even really garbage, really. I mean, they're natural. They're good for the environment. And yeah, just because you put one trash trash ball into a sewage hole doesn't mean you can't put another. I was actually, come to think of it, why the heck are we putting garbage in sewage? That's horrible! You don't do that! They're different things! They're different things! Yeah, you just it just keeps the same animation. I was kind of, I thought, oh, maybe they are combined in. Eh, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. Do, 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 do. Um, really easy to get mixed up down here still. Let's see if we can find any more trash balls. There's not going to be any in the back alleys, if I recall correctly. Aha! They also might just keep respawning as well. I'm not sure. They might respawn when you, like, turn a corner or something. Because I don't, I don't remember, like, 
Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I cross, I go the same way, and I find trash balls back where I already, you know, dealt with. No, you have to go into the hole, you silly. Don't bite me, asshole. What's with all these thugs? This, this town is literally ru ruled by gangsters. Literally ruled by gangsters. No one does a thing about it. Oh, so yeah, now I'm definitely going the way that I went before. Oh, yeah, there's no trash balls here, so perhaps I was incorrect in my statement. Perhaps. It's probably like seven or eight trash balls, though, because I'm pretty sure I saw... Last time I did this, as I was pushing the sixth one around, I saw another one. And yeah, they're only in this downtown area. They're not in the construction zone, and they're not in high-rise, so you don't have to worry about that at all. I think I went right last time. Let's go left. Yeah. This is another sewage hole there. With no trash ball in it. How dare that exist? How dare? Although, I think there's another one. Yeah, there's one right there. Okay, and the last one should also be on this path, because I'm pretty sure I've walked all the streets after this. I mean, I don't really know- I really don't understand- well, I wish I could have, like, an overview map of this, because I feel like if I saw an overview map for only, like, I don't know, like, ten seconds, I think this place would make a lot more sense to me than it does. Yeah, I guess the quickest sewage hole- okay, camera, please cooperate. Camera! Yeah, sewage- best sewage holes here. So, yeah, I feel like this place- I should, like, make my own map, to be honest. Just so I could see what this place looks like from above. Yeah, I think this place would make a lot more sense if I just saw from above. That's a clean sweep. No, whatever. I don't care. Now we're going to find sand again, which of course can be a bit more complicated too. Here's where the Krusty Krab portable area stood. Um, crap, I'm not sure where Sandy is now. <laughs> uh, probably going the wrong way. Dang it. There aren't really that many intersections either, which makes it even more dumb that I can't... Figure oh, there she is. Figure out how this place runs. Hello, Sandy! Hello! Thanks for all your help, SpongeBob. Now I can go to my tree dome and practice karate. <laughs> That's all she does. She just practices karate forever. Wow, she just goes into this random house. Wow. <laughs> Alright, with that, we complete the downtown area. Finally! I wonder who Flying Dutchman's gonna capture this time. I mean, to be honest, that makes sense for Mr. Krabs, because, you know, he was the major character of this area. But I think he was already captured, wasn't he? I don't know. Oh, snap. See, sometimes these puzzles are like, wow, this one actually might be difficult. But then you, you start it, and you're like, oh, never mind, this is gonna be really easy. <laughs> Hey look, we're already freaking done. Well, not yet. Not quite, but I already freaking see how this works. What is this? Oh, it's a foreman. I see. In the bottom right there. Hmm. I, oh, I was gonna say, I don't remember where this treasure is, but you know what? That's just what I was about to say that. I do remember that. Also, that's a very bad description of where the treasure is. It's just a wall. It's like, oh, thanks, game. Thank you so much. So much. And wow, it looks like this episode's gonna be long enough, or all this extra stuff's gonna be long enough to fill up the episode. I'm gonna have to start Goo Lagoon. Business district this way. We could take a look. Mm. It's weird, we need to get a bloop over here, right? No? Yeah, I can see the little bloop bloops there. You guys probably can't really see that too well. The controller vibrates if you're close enough. That wasn't vibrating there. Oh, it's vibrating now. You guys can also see the, uh, the snow's gonna vibrate. You guys might not be able to hear that either. I don't know. But, uh... Where can it be? I don't know! So I'm pretty sure the screenshot it showed was just, like, this. Like, oh, that's very helpful. Thanks, game. <laughs> uh, anyways. Let's get a maybe gross thing. <gasps> Yeah, it's pretty gross. Is that the Flung Dutchman's hair, or...? <laughs> oh, the ewes. So gross. What do we got? What do we got? Who's he gonna capture? Who's he gonna get? There we go. Everything's spick and span the way it should be. <laughs> if it's cleaning you enjoy, then have I got the ship for you. 
Wow, sexist. Stay back, you no good ghost wrangler, because I've got a knuckle sandwich with your name on it. There is no need to resort to violence when I can just hypnotize you into obedience. <laughs> I love how his hair has a mind of its own. Oh god, she looks very creepy. So creepy. Acorn! Oh, now Sandy's gone. Who am I going to practice karate with? Oh. Our friends dwingle one by one. That's not the word. Dingle, dwingle, nope. Dwindle, there we go. I knew it was a dwell word. Alright, so if you take a look at our game totals, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Goolagoon <gasps> and Dutchman's Graveyard. And Goolagoon's actually the only other level that has uh, money in it. So it's Goolagoon and Downtown Bikini Bottom. Those are the only two levels that have money in it. So, in the next episode... We're going to have to convince Larry to let us go to Goolagoon. Ooh, how exciting. Very exciting indeed. Ooh. If it, if it ever loads. Wow, I'm surprised how well this worked out. I'm very happy it took an entire episode to do... Uh, finish up Chum World and then do the Sandy thing as well. But yeah, I, I don't get why... Well, actually, that's not true. I do understand why they made it so... Flying Dutchman captured Sandy. But it only made much more sense if they had it so... Um, Flying Dutchman captures whoever had the most influence on the level. Like, Downtown Bikini Bottom was mostly, like, you know, it was very orientated around Christ or, uh, Mr. Krabs. Same with how the Tree Dome was very orientated around Sandy. But I guess they needed the characters for other things. Like, you know, Sandy doing a clean thing. But they could have also just had her other another character do that. Could have had, like, yeah, Patrick do that. Though I don't know what world Patrick would be captured on. Which world was Patrick captured on? I'm not sure. Hmm. So I don't remember who gets captured on Goolagoon or uh, Chumworld as well. But whatever, it doesn't matter. I forget most of my friends who, who's been captured where, where already. It doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, Squid, where did Squid get captured on? It doesn't matter, who cares? Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. In the next episode, we will convince Larry. Larry! Larry! So let me go to Goolagoon. You want jellyfish, right? You want 50 jellyfish. I have 67, thankfully, so no issues there. Talk to you guys next time. I am an hour rock. Bye!